Well, hey, Scorpios. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel for Vlogmas. Okay, so for those who are new, um, I've already pre-shuffled the deck. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and jump into your reading. And I'm going to cut the decks. And I'm going to read it. I'm going to do this one too, just so I won't forget. All right, so let's see. Let's see what's, what we have for you today, Scorpio. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see. All right, we have here High Priestess. Ooh, you guys are always secretive. This is so funny. Here it talks about listening to your intuition about things um, and having patience. So some of you guys may not be patient about something. Um, you know, and part of wisdom is saying not to rush into things, you know, to give way for things to happen naturally um, with the high priestess. I also feel like, you know, maybe you're not talking to someone. Maybe you might, you, you may want to, you know, talk to someone. Maybe there are some things that they're holding from you or you're holding back from them. The high priestess talk about things that are hidden. But I love the fact here it talks about having patience because there could be some things that you guys are anxious about, uh, whether it's family members, dealing with family members, dealing with um, a love interest or money, things of that nature. But it talks about having wisdom in all of those areas, okay? So we're going to go ahead and move on and see what we have for you, Scorpio. So we're just going to turn it over and we're just going to read both. Let's see what we have. Okay, here we got the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups here. So here's your energy, Scorpio. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and start with the King of Pentacles. Um, I think this came out for you. <laughs> I think this, this came out for you guys yesterday, I think. I'm not sure. Um, here it talks about being well-grounded and also um, financial security and prosperity. Um, you know, and I know you guys hate to hear this, but listen, I cut the deck. And I feel like it's just one of those things that you guys have to hear over and over again. It's like, yeah, okay, yeah, fine, fine. You know, I'll have some money. I ain't got it now, but, you know, I'll have it fine. Okay. But, but why is spirit having a need to tell you that over and over again? Just saying, okay? But also it talks about commitment. It's not just talking about money. It's talking about commitment because you can have all the money in the world, but then what else do you have? And it's funny because it came out in conjunction with the very thing, which is the heart, love, emotion here. It's not just about the material. It's about something that you may be missing. Love, compassion. And this is also to say, have compassion on yourself. Are you too hard on yourself? I mean, what is it that you guys feel that you need to do? Do you feel like you need to be better at something? Also, it talks about following your heart, your person that you guys are dealing with. Maybe they need to follow their heart. Okay, this is saying a deep love or friends family, a love interest, a deep connection. And this is something that I feel like you guys are going to have. You have it in you, even if you're not, even if you're not expressing it maybe, or maybe you can't express it. Okay. Um, you may take care of other people, but this is also saying for you not to forget to care for yourself. Because Scorpios, you guys are very loyal. You guys give a lot, okay? That's part of who you are as a person. And sometimes don't forget about you because you may give to yourself, but but maybe it's not the thing that you really need to give, okay? So don't forgive, don't, I mean, don't forget about yourself, but there's so, this is, this is pretty deep read and we're only on the second deck. You see how this is a little bit different? That's why I had to change it with that whole King of Pentacles because some of you guys are kind of like, ain't nothing happened yet. Listen, I can't tell you. I can only I can only tell you what the Spirit is saying. And this is some things that need to be repeated over and over again because remember, repeated messages are kind of like reassurance. But even if we're not talking about prosperity, we're going to step over to the love part. We're going to talk about commitment. Okay, something that you guys could be very well facing. Okay, so let's go ahead and split the deck. These cards are slippery, but I like it. 
I'm going to go ahead and get three cards here. We're going to go ahead and turn it over for Scorpio. All right. Ooh, Page of Wands. Yes, that's going to be some type of conversation here, some type of text message or something like that, because you guys are, you know, there are some changes that you guys are going to be um, going through. Here with the will and the justice here, this is karmic justice for you. Um, you know, and I feel like it's because of everything that you guys have been through, the the burdens that you've bear, the losses that you've had in the past. And so the universe is kind of like, okay, we'll give Scorpio what they, you know, what they need. Okay. So this is the answer to those very questions that you guys have a lot. When is it going to happen? It will. The will of fortune is exactly what that is. It's fortune, good things, better times coming, justice here, karmic justice. And this is the way you guys are going to feel the page of wands, that spark in your heart. And I do feel that there's going to be, you know, possibly someone or, you know, that's going to come in your life where you guys, you know, can openly express yourselves. We saw that with the queen of wands conversation here. Yeah, I see it. This is a really good read. A little bit different though, because I'm like, I, I, I need to dive, dive a little bit deeper. The Scorpios, you guys are complex and I'm not about to give you the guys the same read every day. So if I have to, you know, dig a little bit deeper, that's what I'm going to do. Karmic justice, wisdom, patience. Okay. Here. We have the King of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. We got a lot of communication when this is also talking about um, monetary things that, um, you know, fields of study, things that you guys are, um, you know, adventuring off in that you may have to study from, but you will benefit financially from. This is also saying seeing someone, talking to someone. But here with the, with the King of Swords, you guys, it could be you or your person. Someone is acting like nothing is... Nothing matters. You, you know, and I believe that then the King of Swords come out before it did. No, that was the King of Pentacles. So the King of Swords, I, I, I have a love hate for this, this particular, this particular King, because, you know, you want the person to be this way when it matters. Okay. To put a, a poker face when it matters, but you don't want them to do that to you. So you may be doing this there. They may be doing this. But the thing is, it's very cold. There's this cold energy here. OK, almost pretending like something isn't wrong, trying to pretend that everything is OK. But I do feel like something is going to happen here. This is some type of communication, some type of something here with this page of Pentacles. But you guys have dealt with this type of energy in the past. You guys have dealt with someone who, you know, could be it could be a, it could be a parent. It could be a family member who was just cold. Okay. And this is not the best energy when, you know, in a relationship, but it's good in business, but it's not good in a relationship or a connection. Okay. So I definitely see that there is going to be some type of communication with someone possibly in the past who was, you know, who had this type of demeanor or this, this type of attitude. Okay. So let's continue. Oh, I'm sorry, Scorpio. <clears throat> so far so good I like that this is a little bit different so far really good reads all right let's see here we got the high priestess again this is very spiritual saying use your intuition there's something here use your intuition uh, with the Queen of Wands, to me, I feel like this is very sexual, okay? This is hidden things. This is, you know, this could be you. This could be your person. I, I personally feel that you guys were dealing with someone who had a lot of, you know, maybe it was some sexual practices you guys knew nothing about, okay? That's their business. I'm not here to judge anybody when they come out of that, okay? Just not, Okay. But I will say that there is very much so um, some, some energies that you guys are going to be going into that's going to make you feel very good, very beautiful, very sexy, okay? And this is just, you know, saying that you guys are mysterious anyway. 
So I do feel that there's going to be something that's going to pretty much kind of, you know, spark your interest. There's going to be, there is going to be something dealing with the heart. Someone's heart chakra is opening up. That cold energy, I feel like it's going to be kind of removed. Okay. We're going to go ahead and get to your last set of cards here, Scorpio. And then we're going to see what we have. I love doing it this way because it's like, I just want to see what the cards have. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Here we have unrequited love. Let your friends help and keep an open mind. So I do see that there was one side of connection here. Okay, so someone was giving more than the other. Um, I also see here that that's the reason why you guys are going to get justice. Okay, um, you, you don't want to deal with, with individuals who feel that you're not worth the time, effort, or anything. And so here the universe is kind of saying, hey, yeah, you you are worth that. You know, and during this time of waiting, of patience here, you know, talk to your friends and family, but keep an open mind of the person that you want to come in your life because it very well may not be the person you have in mind. This is why it says your soulmate may be different from what you believe they're supposed to be and look like, okay? They may not be, you know, the size two or the tall person or the popular person or the very, you know, I, I don't know, whatever you guys, whatever it is that you guys want, because, you know, a, a, a nice face or a bank uh, or a, a, um, a wallet, a bankroll has never kept people from leaving. So this is part of being spiritual um, and to keep an open mind, because I do believe that you guys will come across individuals um, who you will connect with on a slow level um, that will be your person. OK, someone who's going to be very open to um, to your ideas, your way of life, what you think, all of that. OK, oh, this is so good. So Scorpio, this is your reading. For those who have not, please like and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys tomorrow for another Vlogmas. But thank you again and um, talk to you later. Bye.